purchased from the frat house, I can finally show you this. I am so excited to be able to finally show you this. Okay, if you have any questions about this cover, this is a B6 E-class notebook from Chic Sparrow. Uh, the leather is called Elderwood. It is a fantastic, like, warm, rich brown. It is gorgeous. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it so much. Um, and it's a B6 size, which I really, I really like. It's just big enough, but it's not too big, if that makes any sense. So I did a video um, talking about the notebook itself. So if you have any questions about the, the leather, um, you know, the way it's made, all of that good stuff, go check out my um, Chic Sparrow E-Class preview video because that'll tell you all about what's going on in here. Let's get into what is going on inside of here. So I have been carrying my driver's license and two debit cards in here. So that's what's normally in these pockets. And then in here I have um, some personal ring size note paper from SM Plans. And you can check her out on Etsy and I will link to her shop down below. And then this card stock was also in a pack from um, the New York City Planner Addicts Planner Masquerade. And then let's get into the first insert. So this front, this is a digital and this little piece of vellum is a digital. Those are from Planner Society. Um, the, I believe it was the December uh, digital kit. And then this beautiful vinyl is, uh, was a gift from Dexina. I will link to her Instagram down below. And I put it on a piece of acetate so that I can move it from book to book. This has been in so many planners since she was so kind to give it to me. And I love it so much. I did the same with another one that she sent with it as, as well. So that is what's going on on the front cover. Inside the front cover, I have um, these three sticky notes are from the Kinley's Doodles February Doodle Box. And then this I also got at the... Um, Planner Masquerade. This is from Paper Panda's shop. Uh, the first insert itself is a month and two pages with a grid in between from Kinley's Doodles. Um, if you go to kinleysdoodles.com into the shop section, there's an insert section and it's in there. This is all B6 size. And the tabs here, this little tab that I made is from a shop that is no longer open. It was Berry Patch Papery. Papery. Loved her stickers and her tabs, so I took some of her stickers and made them into tabs. And then all of the leather tabs you see are from Chic Sparrow. And I put them onto um, post-it tabs. Um, they're the heavier kind of plastic um, so that I could move them um, into different books or if I wanted to rearrange them in here I could um, so that they would be movable and I did that the same way as I make my other tabs. I have a video called How I Make My Tiny Tabs. Same process to do these as I've done with everything else. Um, so my very first facing page is just where I have post-it notes with financial information on them and then here is what February looks like. Um, this and this are from a recollection sticker set that I got at Michael's uh, in their planner section. And then all of the little dots and the little flags are stickers that I've been hoarding from Allie Brown. Um, I finally thought the gray would go kind of with what I've got going on this month. So I went ahead and used some of them. I've been hoarding them because you can't get them anymore. So, <laughs> And then these have um, grid in between. So I've got pre-planning stuff done for the whole year, but I like having kind of the month on two pages for the scheduled stuff, appointments, mic schedule, stuff like that. And then in between, I can do, you know, what videos I want to get done for the month, what tasks around the house or with the family need to be done for the month, that kind of thing. So that is the first insert. And on the back, there's Crazy Liam. As always, just some extra sticky notes. And the back cover, this is from Kinley's Doodles uh, February box. And this is a free printable from Brunella Bai. Uh, if you look her up, I'll link down below on Instagram. Um, she is so sweet and does like a free calendar printable every month. So I always try to put one in my planner every month because they're so cute. Um, second insert, I should have said I have four inserts in here. Second insert is my weeklies. Um, this is all Kinley's Doodles except for the sweater weather, sweater weather vinyl that was also sent um, with the other one from Dexina. Again, I put it on a piece of acetate because I couldn't commit to sticking it to sticking it to something permanently. So on the clear acetate, I can just move it around. Paper clips in here are from Lily and Lola Co. They're like the perfect size. I They're the perfect size and they're like sturdy, but they're not super tight, if that makes sense. They're just, these are like my favorite paper clips. Um, the second insert is a vertical week on two pages from Anthology Notes. Again, I will have direct links to every item down below wherever possible. 
Um, so here is just what, this has kind of been bare lately. We've had a lot of snow days. We have had a lot of school cancellations. We've had a lot of field trips canceled. And um, I have been sick with this sinus thing for a month. So <laughs> this is looking pretty bare right now. Um, book dart that I just moved to keep things current, which I haven't moved in a while because it belongs over here. Um, but this is basically just the schedule to do's for the week, um, when paydays, um, are coming bills do daily tasks um, just kind of helps me see what's going on just for the week in one chunk in case we have overlaps like we have going on over here I can work it out so that is my second insert and then the back cover this is Kinley's doodles and this I made on Canva more family fun stuff third insert is my dailies. This is from Kinley's Doodles and this little part is a digital that is made in pages. Um, the black and white plaid is from Planner Society. I believe it was December uh, set, digital set, and I just made that in um, Canva as well, I should say. Again, this is from Anthology Notes. This is my dailies. So it's kind of like a Hobonichi inspired. Um, I have these little circular sticky notes I got from Paper Panda and then the little numbers on them. These are just the weeks. So this is like week five. It was kind of the end of week five at the beginning of February. This little chunk of pages is week six. So I just have each one tagged. The, uh, the sticky circles are from Paper Panda and the little circular numbers are from a Heidi Swap set that I got a really long time ago. Like I've had it for years. Um, and then these letters here are from Tim Holtz and these numbers are from the same Heidi Swap set that those are from. Um, and then the little icons you see, these are from MJ and Hope. Um, I love her mini stickers. I absolutely love them. You can see them here, these little circles, there's little garbage, there's like little debit cards. I use those for bill due, dollar sign I use for paydays, um, the little squares I use for tasks. She just has fantastic color palettes and the size of the mini stickers, to me at least, are perfect. Like the little squares, fit absolutely perfectly inside this grid paper. Perfect, like to a T. So those are my, my mini stickers that I'm really using the heck out of. Um, and then the other ones I've been using the heck out of are from Paper Panda. These little, these are all her mini stickers. So you'll see these kind of sprinkled through my daily pages. And this file prints out to be about two months worth of daily pages. And then this back cover is all uh, Kinley's Doodles February box. I just kind of tore some pages and layered them. And then the last insert is all kind of reference and notes stuff. Um, this background, this black, white, and gray floral background is from Planner Society. I believe it may have been the Valentine's digital kit. And then this pink plaid and this black and white check with the pink flowers, that's Kinley's Doodles. Um, this was from the January set. The black and white check is from the February set. Stickers are from um, a Happy Planner set that I got. I'm sorry, my foot is falling asleep. Um, these are from a Happy Planner set that I found at Michael's. This insert is just, oh, and then this um, acetate is from the January Kinley's Doodles box, um, doodle box. Now this, I just took a bunch of rhodia paper and folded it in half, cut it down to size. So I just kind of made it, cut it down to size. I made my own insert. Um, I don't bind my own inserts. The elastic just holds it right in there. And this is just, what this insert used to be was, um, it'd be reference and then project notes. So like a list of links that I had to find for a video. Um, and I do have video ideas in here, but that's it. I have the list for video ideas in here. I All the project stuff that I have, any writing stuff that I have, anything like that, I have moved into something else that I'm going to do a separate video and show you guys. Um, the name of the game for me was Consolidate. So I will show you separately what I did with that. So this insert no longer has a bunch of project notes in it. It's more lists and reference. So like my list of videos to do, yes, I do have that in here because this is where I'll keep the running list of videos I wanna get done. Um, notes on things like um, car maintenance, you know, any long-term stuff. I have um, a to-do list going in here, but I just left one spread for it because I'll just put that on post-it notes. That stuff will get done. I'll cross it off. I'll recycle the post-it note. And then back in here, I have um, one kind of spread um, for family stuff. So like in Mike's, Mike actually gets two spreads, but um, one spread is kind of clinic stuff. This is a fold out from the Peanuts Planner Co. 
um, the 2019 yearly bundle, so it was already dated over here. Um, and this is just the hockey schedule. And then um, his next page is all clinic stuff. And then I have one section for um, a bunch of the kids so that I've got, um, same thing, post-it notes stuck on there. And then in the back here, I've got all my crazy page flags, page flags I've made, the um, semicolon page flags that I always use, the tried but true list from Daytimer, sticky list, and then some white sticky notes on the back. And then this back cover, this is all Planner Society. Um, I believe... December and January, I want to say. Take a look at their digital sets on Etsy, and that'll clear that up for you. What's what? Because there's kind of stuff going on from several different... I want to say this was from maybe December, this, um, and this were probably January. This was maybe Valentine's. So check out on Etsy for sure to make sure. Um, so that is pretty much it, you guys. Everything just kind of flows from one thing to the next. And I feel like the only other thing that I forgot to show you was I use another one of those Peanuts Planner Co. foldouts from the 2019 bundle um, for um, upcoming dates. So like days that there's no school, birthdays, um, you know, special like annual renewals for things like websites, um, things that um, our son who goes away to college, um, things he has to do once a year, um, you know, stuff like that, reminders. So that is all of 2019 there. And that is pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you're using for an everyday carry, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.